Okay, so it has been a while since I've posted anything, but what's going on? So I just wanted to talk about the Avengers game, because it's kind of been the only game that I've played recently, because I just haven't been into video games as much, which is why I haven't been posting. But yeah, so I wanted to kind of talk about kind of a kind of a very simple view of the game, and someone who's not super critical of things kind of can tell you kind of how an average consumer might be able to view this product. So if you look online, people hate this game. Uh, it's pretty common to see that now. And this game admittedly is dying. The fan base and player base is falling quick. So should you get the game now in November 2020? It's come out two months ago, or it came out two months ago in September. And yeah, admittedly, it has died quick. So should you still purchase it now? The best advice I can give you is to kind of think about what you're looking for. If you're looking for a competent and frankly decent campaign, I would say yes. The campaign in this game is actually fun. It kind of introduces you to all the Avengers and... It allows you to play as everyone and kind of experience an actual competent and fun story. But this game, that's not what this game mainly is. The main concept and the main bulk and the meat and potatoes of this game is the Avengers Initiative. And basically, it's the big multiplayer part of the game. It wants to be a game like Destiny. It has a service where they keep adding content for years to come. And is the multiplayer... Or I guess does the game allow the multiplayer to stay up for years to come? Simply put, no. I'm going to go into detail about every little aspect, but I wanted to really quickly get that out of the way. Basically, should you buy this game? If you want a good campaign, I would say wait a little bit, you know, maybe until it's at a bit of a discount or something. If you find it on sale, maybe for Black Friday or something, I would definitely say yes, buy it. If you're, a, if you're a Marvel fan, you already did, but if you're just looking for a game to buy in these boring times, this game could be it for a campaign. But if you're looking for a multiplayer game that is going to kind of survive through the next five, six years prior to a sequel, no, this game isn't it. So I kind of wanted to just go through a quick little overview of each little thing so let's really quick do this because i don't want to waste all your time and i'm only going to go around probably 10 minutes or something so basically graphics everything like that kind of things i can look at objectively they don't require much kind of thought the graphics in this game i don't think are horrible i don't think the character models especially of tony stark and thor are great i actually don't think they're very good at all and i think the graphics in this game are all right i wish the game kind of had more color uh so overall the graphics aren't great and when you compare it to like insomniac's 2018 spider-man it's not even close, admittedly. So the graphics in this game aren't great. This game is buggy as shit. Even after numerous and like literally thousands of fixes, this game is still buggy. Uh, I didn't, I didn't come into contact with like as bad of some things, or I guess as bad of glitches as some people did. Some people like literally lost all their save. I would kind of just get annoying things, where maybe like an enemy wouldn't spawn, which would cause me to fail the mission or something like that. But this game is still quite buggy. But like I said, this game wants to inspire longevity and be around for years, and the way that it plans to do that is with fun gameplay. So is the gameplay fun? The gameplay, I would say, is fun, but incredibly repetitive and redundant, and frankly simplistic. It has very simple controls, it has a light and a heavy attack, you know, and it has, you know, your support, I guess like your support special, your assault special, and then your ultimate uh, for each different hero, and I'll admit, each hero does play very differently, you'll definitely feel a difference playing as Hulk versus Black Widow, but it also kind of feels weird in the same way, because you have to balance them, and so you can't have someone like Hulk killing everything in one hit, or Thor killing everything in one hit, you actually kind of see Thor, or Hulk have to punch things numerous times, just like Black Widow, it feels a little bit weird, it kind of, you kind of have to understand that it is a video game, so you kind of give it a free pass in that regard, but the problem is, like I said before, the gameplay, though it makes you feel like a hero in some instances, because you can get some cool cinematics, it's just so simple in its execution that it doesn't really maintain your interest for as long as this game wants, and there's nothing else. The thing is, the gameplay is what's going to carry you, because in terms of mission variety and what you're actually going to be doing with that gameplay, there is almost nothing. There are only a few mission types, and basically every single one of them revolves around the exact same thing, and that's why the gameplay is so crucial, because every single mission, even if it's slightly different, whether you're destroying something or you're protecting something, the main thing that you're actually going to be doing is just fighting. It's just beating things up, and the enemy variety is not really there. They're kind of all robots, and this is one of my biggest pet peeves with this game. It's the fact that you have the Marvel license, and this is an Avengers game, and there is a stunning lack of anyone from the rogues gallery. Uh, you have very few, and that is extremely annoying. Like, that actually bothers the, the shit out of me, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a very critical person, like I said, but that bothers me. The fact that you basically only have Abomination, Taskmaster, Taskmaster, I don't know why I just, like, died right there, Taskmaster, um, you know, MODOK, it's just, frankly, upsetting. They just, 
took this license that has so many potential villains and just for some reason failed to utilize any of them. Because with even in, within the campaign, it kind of introduces you with two very early boss fights, and you think that's going to be how the game goes, but then there's like none, and the only boss fights that are left are the end, and prior to that, robots. Just more robots from AIM. And that's just annoying, and it bothers me that they literally decided to do it like that, because you have such an immense amount of villains you can choose from. So overall, yeah, the gameplay and everything is kind of simplistic, and it is repetitive, which is why I'm saying if you want a story, it can maintain your interest for the story most likely, because they kind of always have you switching characters. But within the multiplayer, given that the rewards are frankly unrewarding, um, with the gear not having any cosmetic, any cosmetic changes and things like that, they're just basically numerical differences in the background, you don't feel very rewarded for doing things, and to do those things, you have to go through the monotonous gameplay, so there really isn't anything there. Yeah, I really don't like being this negative, but I'm trying to be objective, because I'm a ginormous Marvel fanboy, and I love the comics, I love the movies, and I just have to be 100%. This game just is missing a lot, and that's kind of where I wanted to kind of end this with this part. They have plans to add a lot to this game, or at least they did. Currently, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, Clint Barton, um, and Black Panther are all scheduled to be released within the next couple months. Kate Bishop, I believe, is supposed to release this month. But she was already pushed back from October, so it kind of shows that they are pushing back content. And Black Panther probably won't be out until, like, 2021. And the problem is, what is there to do until they release these heroes? Nothing. So, if you buy this game, and if you plan to buy this game, and you haven't yet, maybe your friend is like, yo, you should buy it, yo, you should buy it. I would wait. If you want a story, if that's all you want, is a frankly fun single-player experience, you can buy it. I think that it'd be a little bit exuberant because it's still, I believe, priced at $60. Um, so maybe you can find it on sale somewhere, maybe if like you can borrow it from a friend, beat the campaign a couple days, give it back, because the Avengers Initiative just isn't done. There isn't enough mission variety, there isn't enough content, the combat is very simplistic, though rewarding, I'll be honest, it's fun to look at, it really can be. The frame rate and stuff with that is pretty decent, I've noticed some chugging when I'm the Hulk and just destroying everything, uh, hopefully it's better on the next-gen consoles, but yeah, basically, there just isn't a lot there. I hate being negative, and I'm gonna be honest with you, despite the fact that this video has been frankly negative, like I said, I'm not a very critical person, and I'm trying to look at it in a more critical lens. I don't think this game is the worst game in the world. Like, I don't think this is, like, oh, what's a, like, Ride to Hell Retribution or something. I don't think it's that bad. I would say it's, like, a 6 out of 10. Like, it's an okay game that should have been, like, a 9. It had the potential and it had the license to be absolutely absurd. It missed the mark. I wouldn't say it's horrible, but I would say it is, frankly, disappointing. And if you want a good multiplayer experience, I would wait, because especially right now, it looks like Crystal Dynamics might even just can the game. They might just stop, because the player base has died so much. That scared the shit out of me. If you heard that, that scared the shit out of me. But if you didn't, then you're like, what is he talking about? But they might can the game. And that is sad. Like, that's just sad, because this game was supposed to go on for years, but literally the player base and everything around it is dying super quickly. So basically, I would hold off you want a multiplayer game. If you want a single player game, it's a good game. If you want something else, it's kind of disappointing. Overall, I don't typically like to give numerical scores, but like I said earlier, 6 out of 10, that doesn't really say much. It's a number. But yeah, it's disappointing, but I think it can be enjoyable. And maybe if you can get a cheaper copy or something from a friend, I think it can be fun, you know, as a campaign, and maybe, maybe if you have friends, you know, you can have fun with the multiplayer, kind of understanding that it's monotonous, and kind of gaining that enjoyment from your friends, whether or not that's worth $60 is up to you, anyway, thank you so much for watching, I have not done a video in so long, I don't, it's just, it's weird, because I just have never really done it, I don't know, I thought about doing numerous videos, and I still have a couple in the works that I want to try and get out, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like the video up, and I will see you next time.